So here is Metal Slug 5, developed by the SNK we now know, which is SNK Playmore. It was released in 2003 for the arcade, and then for America, the only release it saw was with Metal Slug 4, and then of course the anthology. It's also available on modern consoles as well. So like I just mentioned, after SNK got their shit together, they went back to creating Metal Slug, and that odd Korean company was not making the games anymore, and uh, well, they just kind of went away, and now we have the original people back, or at least some of the original people. And it shows, because Metal Slug 5 makes a number of improvements on the previous game. So Metal Slug 5 takes place after the previous game, I guess, and it seems the military is developing the next generations of Metal Slugs. And these are just massive Metal Slugs, and they all get stolen by terrorists. And a lot of these terrorists happen to look like Shy Guys as well. To my knowledge, the General isn't really in this game, which is kinda lame. But I guess it's interesting, they tried something different, unlike the previous game where they just introduced some weird other new character to fight and they didn't even explain it or do anything. I mean, this game, at least they try to give some minor introduction. I mean, also the final boss is just a straight up demon, which I'm just going to say alright. Now, I'm not going to say I like the plot very much, but it is an attempt for a good plot or decent plot or anything, a setup. It's a step in the right direction compared to that previous game. They even add these little cutscenes to try to add some semblance of plot. It, it's fine. It's not as good as 1 through 3's plot, but in the end, does the plot really matter in Metal Slug too much? I mean, not really. So let's look on what does matter, the gameplay. So Metal Slug 5 is obviously more Metal Slug. Luckily the two new characters from 4 are uh, gone. They've been nuked and never seen again. We have the original cast of characters again, but the gameplay is the same. Kill everything that moves pretty much, use big guns, throw bombs, save some POWs, get in some vehicles, blast your way through a couple levels, move left to right most of the time. Yeah, everything returns from Metal Slug 4, but there is a new movement option, you can slide. Yes, in Metal Slug 5 you can actually slide like Mega Man style, you hold down and jump to slide. It's never appeared in another Metal Slug game and I actually kind of like it, it adds another little tactic to use and I think it's borderline underrated. It's a nice addition. Anyway, I'll say, I will say, right off the bat, while Metal Slug 4 reused almost everything from the previous game, including locations, enemies, etc., Metal Slug 5 is like the opposite, and has almost all original levels and enemies, making the game feel more refreshing, for sure. The new enemies are terrorists that, again, look like shy guys, but they do have new ways of trying to kill you. You fight these guys most of the game, and I don't think you really fight any supernatural monsters except for that demon at the end of the game which is easily the best boss fight in the game, by the way. When it comes to new additions to Metal Slug 5, there are a few. While there are no new weapons, and for some reason the flamethrower is gone, there are three new vehicles, the Slug Gunner, which is a Metal Slug with the level armor. This thing kicks ass and is awesome to use. It needs two people to properly use, though. The Car Slug, which is a car with a machine gun. I mean, that's fine. And the last new addition is the Spider Slug, which is up on the wall, shooting everything, and that's a good addition as well. When it comes to other changes in Metal Slug 5, there are a few. While branching paths don't really come back, they are there for two levels, but only briefly. There's no zombie, mummy, or monkey transformations, but you can still get fat. The gameplay really feels like it's tried and true Metal Slug. It feels like it's a step in the right direction from 4. It feels more fresh as well. The pacing is much better and is akin to the previous games. There are some more memorable levels here, like the first one when you're on the boat and it's actually an auto-scroller, and then when you're in the jets killing everything. It's fun stuff. And it definitely is better than 4, which felt like it was on autopilot most of the time and just was really going through the motions in Metal Slug. This definitely feels more original. When it comes to the graphics from Metal Slug 5 though, it's really not any different from the previous games. Still really well done sprite work as usual here. All the animation is great really, and a lot of the effects are really done well done as well. Everything animates so fluidly and I wish my recording of it could pick it up properly, but it doesn't do it justice. The textures look good and the frame rate was solid enough. It did dip a few times, but for the most part it was really good. Overall, the graphics are what you've come to expect from Metal Slug. My biggest positive is just that there's new stuff to even see, while 4 had pretty much to just reuse like everything. It's as lazy as it gets. The sound though in this game, oh, the sound is fantastic in Metal Slug 5. While the fourth game might have sucked for sound, Metal Slug 5 is just awesome. The sound effects all kick ass, the announcer rules, and the quality is excellent, but what really stands out is the music. The music in Metal Slug 5 rules. The game goes for a mid-2000s heavy metal soundtrack, and this shit is awesome. Every tune is bumping in this game, there's not a bad one. It's probably one of my favorite Metal Slug soundtracks. It might be in my 
top three, top two. It, it's real close to that first one, too. It just rules. It's all so catchy, and it just feels Metal Slug. I can feel it radiating from this music. Like, it takes the heavy metal from the previous couple games to the next level in this game. I got no complaints for the soundtrack. If you like metal, you'll love this game, and it'll be your favorite soundtrack. I don't have the same level of nostalgia with it that I do for, like, Metal Slug 3, but this soundtrack, it kicks ass, and it's underrated. It really is. There's not a bad track, like, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, and I could go on forever about this soundtrack. It's easily my favorite part of the whole game is this soundtrack. It really pumps you up when you're playing the game. It gets you in that mood. You want to just kill shit, yeah. And, yeah, it's just great. But let's talk about things that really aren't that great. And to be honest, I can't bring up too much. I do wish the branching paths would return and not be this kind of fake shit like that shows up here. Like, no, just bring it back. And while I think the new enemies are fine, I do miss the General and Alan. I mean, those are like the staples of Metal Slug. These new guys, again, are fine, but don't really cut it for me. Um, not huge on the fact that you don't really fight any crazy monsters or anything, minus the final boss. It's mostly soldiers and vehicles, similar to the original Metal Slug. The aliens and the mummies and the monsters, they're all gone. A lot of the levels do seem really well paced, though, and I, I don't have any problems with them, I'll say that. But the game is also a little shorter than the other Metal Slug games. While 4 was around 40 minutes, this one is like max 30 minutes, which is not the longest. But it is well paced, I will say. And you can actually see this Metal Slug in, our, in an arcade at San Francisco State, which is cool. It's more Metal Slug. If you like Metal Slug, you're really going to like this game, and it's a nice improvement over the previous game. And while it isn't as good as Metal Slug 3 or X, I still think it is a good game, and it definitely are a step in the right direction after that fourth game. It's quite fun, and I love shooting everything in it. It didn't feel stagnant like the previous game either. It's quite fun. I liked it. This would also actually be the last Metal Slug game released on Neo Geo, and the next game we will look at would be the first one specifically made for other consoles. So, I'll see you then.